Hello, Heritage of Faith family. Welcome back to another encouraging word. And uh, Pastor Annette and I want to know that we're praying for you. We love you, and we believe the best is yet to come. And, um, you know, I, I just think of the Apostle Paul. You know, he was an apostle, and, and it said he had all these different things that came on his life and things that happened to him being shipwrecked. And he said, beside all these things, he says, what comes on me is the care of the churches. You know, and he was an apostle, and he established churches. But I want you to know, Annette and I, no matter what might be happening, what, what comes on us is, is you, each one of you. You're in our hearts, and we believe that the best is yet to come for you and your family, no matter what you currently might be facing right now. You know, just a reminder, um, just to continue to encourage you to keep looking up. Don't look at the things that are coming on the earth, but look up because your redemption draws near. You know, that's something as believers we always need to be conscious of, and that is what are we meditating on? What are we looking at? And what are we focusing on? What is our heart fixed on? Because if our heart isn't fixed on the right things, it's going to cause our heart to be unstable and unshaken. And the Word tells us that a double-minded man is unstable in all our ways. So that's why I keep encouraging you with these, these, these messages is to continue to establish your heart in faith. You know, as we go to the Word today in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8, the Apostle Paul tells us this. He says, For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble, which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, insomuch that we despise, despaired even of life. You know, just because you're a believer doesn't mean you won't have trouble, you won't have setbacks, you won't be in difficult situations. But the Apostle Paul was. And he, and, he, and, he, and he tells them, he tells them, he said, you know, I was above strength. I was above strength. I, he goes, I despaired even of life. I'm telling you, he was low, but yet we have to look at how did he see things? Verse nine says, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves. What? That we should not trust in ourselves, but in God that raises the dead. See, that's what the Apostle Paul had to place his trust in. It, did, it, it wasn't the fact that nothing was happening. And I'm telling you, faith doesn't deny circumstances. Faith doesn't deny situations. Jesus never denied lack. He never denied sickness, but yet he didn't glorify it either. And that's just like you and I. Yes, we can't deny what might be happening in the world, but I'm telling you, we're not going to glorify it. So what did we see the Apostle Paul do? He said, we do not trust in ourselves, but what? We trust in God that raises the dead. Meaning even though we, he might be despairing of life, I'm trusting in God that has the ability to raise the dead. I'm trusting in God that has the ability to do impossible things. I want you to know that God is still on the throne. I want you to know that God is still in the business of doing miracles. I believe that God is still doing amazing things. And I'm telling you, the word that Dr. Savell has given us this year, that 2020, God is opening a new door and bringing about supernatural increase like never before is still a word for today. And it doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter what you're facing. I'm telling you, we are going to trust in him that raises the dead. And I'm telling you, if God can raise the dead, I'm telling you, he can eradicate what's going on in our community. If God can raise the dead, he can find you a new job. If God can raise the dead, he can heal your body. If God can raise the dead, I'm telling you, he can do whatever might look impossible in your life. So don't let go of the word. Don't let go of God's faithfulness. I believe the best is yet to come. So I want you to know, Pastor Annette, and I love you. The Savelles love you. And I'm telling you, keep looking up. Keep believing in him. And I'm telling you, you're becoming stronger and stronger day by day. God bless. Till next time.